1.7, Introduction to Solving Inequalities. Some of your basic inequalities. You know, greater than. So, 5 is greater than 3. That's greater than. Less than is the other way. 3 is less than 5. The other one you might see is this one. It's the same thing. It's just written backwards. And you say it differently. Whatever it's pointing then is less than, but you always read from left to right. We have the little Pac-Man. So we have 4x minus 5 is greater than 13. If I have my inequality, we're going to treat it just like a normal equation. If this was an equal sign, what would I do first? Add 5 over to both sides. 4x is greater than 18. I'm just treating it like an equation. Next thing I need to do, divide by my 4. X is greater than, what goes into both 18 and 4? 2. 2. So I have 9 halves. X is greater than 9 halves. When did the, uh, the uh, sign change again? 9 halves is 4.5. We know that. On a number line, 4.5 is in between 4 and 5. I'm going to use an open circle. Now, I need to know which direction my numbers are going. They're going to be greater than, which means it's going to the right. What this means, any number to the right, any number that is greater than 4 and a half, will work for this inequality. Give me a number greater than 4 and a half. 5. If I put in 5, what's 4 times 5? 20. And what's 20 minus 5? 15 is greater than 13. That's true. Anything over here that is greater than 4.5 is true. Give me a number less than 4.5. Three. What's four times three? Twelve. And twelve minus five is? Seven is greater than thirteen. That is false. So it doesn't work. Anything that's less than will not work. Try to solve this one. All right. When we solve these problems, it doesn't matter just like an equation. Which way we move things, left or right? We usually move your variables to the left. It's just habit. So I'm going to add p, add p. What's negative 3p plus p? Negative 2p. All right. I have 4, so I need to subtract 4, subtract 4. And 16 minus 4 is 12. Now, I'm just going to show you. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. P is greater than negative 6. Give me a number that is greater than negative 6. Give me a better number. Give me a better number than 6. Zero. Zero is greater than negative 6. If I put in zero, that's gone, right? And if I put in 0, this is gone, right? 4 is greater than 16. That's false. Here's what happened. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you're changing the sign of this, right? You're changing the sign. You need to change the sign. You need to change the sign of this. You need to actually flip it. So instead of greater than, it becomes less than. Whenever you multiply or divide by a negative number, you flip the symbol. Always. You can even think about that as an equation. What happens if I flip an equal sign? What do I get? Another equal sign. It's the same thing. If I multiply or divide by a negative number, I need to change the sign. When I graph, this is an open circle at negative 6, and it goes to the left. Anything that is less than negative 6 will work. This piece here is the only part that is different from an equation. 
So if you ever multiply or divide by a negative number, that's the only thing that's different. Here's this problem. I have 1 half x plus 2 is greater than 3, or negative 4 is greater than x minus 4. I want to make this one easy. Do both problems. All right, on this one, what do I have to do first? On the one on the left, subtract 2. 1 half x greater than or equal to 1. Now, how do I get rid of a fraction here? Times by the reciprocal, which is 2, which is 2. x is greater than or equal to, what's 1 times 2? 2. I didn't switch the sign. Whenever, whenever you multiply or divide by negative, you change the sign. Four. Now over here, I need to add 4, add 4. 0 is greater than x. Now, I don't like seeing 0 is greater than x, so all I'm going to do is take this, and I'm going to flip it. What happens when I flip it? X is less than 0. When you flip it, the, everything changes. So if it was greater than, it's now less than. So I have x is greater than or equal to 2. 2, closed. And it's greater than. Okay, over here, x is less than 0. So it's open at 0 and it's going to the left. You only flip it when it's a number something x. Now, or statements. 99% of or statements will look like this. They go in opposite directions. What this means, I can pick any number here or any number here, and it will work for one of the two. But if I pick one right here, if I put one into this problem, half of one is half, half plus two is two and a half. Two and a half is not greater than three. Put in half here. Half, or sorry, one minus four is negative three. Four is not, negative four is not greater than negative three. It doesn't work for both of those. Yes? You only close the circle if it's greater than or, e or it's the equal to. If this was equal to here, that would be closed also. The only other instance that 1% of or statements is sometimes they might overlap. There's only one instance. So instead of being like this, it might be like this. When that happens, they're going to overlap and go on forever this way and forever this way. Is there any number I can't pick? No. So what works? Everything. All real numbers. If it looks like that, it's all real numbers. The symbol for all real numbers is a, like a cursive R with a tail on the end. Numbers, every single number you pick will work for this problem. That's only if they completely overlap. Most of the time, 99% of the time, your OR statements will look like this. We have 3 fourths x minus 3 is less than or equal to 3, and 4 plus x is greater than 8. Just, just like we did for the OR statement, do both problems individually. All right, on here, first thing I'm going to do is add 6, or sorry, add 3, and I get 3 fourths x less than or equal to 6. Multiply by the reciprocal, which is 4 thirds, 4 thirds. If you have to use a calculator, do so, but it's a lot easier just to do. What's the common number between a 3 and a 6? 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. And it's a habit. On the other side, subtract 4, subtract 4. X is greater than? Four. Now, if I graph this, four. Here, I'll show you how to make an easy graph. 
I didn't change anything. This one was the same. Now, I'm going to show you an easy way to graph these. You can do these for any of the graphs. What's my smallest number? Four. What's my largest number? Eight. I don't need to put all the numbers. Okay, at eight, open or closed? Closed. Why is it closed? Equal to. Which direction is my graph going to go? To the left. At four, it is open and it goes to the right. These two will connect. Four and statements. This has to, it has to be less than eight and greater than four. So anything that's in this part will work. 99% of all and statements will connect. All right? Or statements are written like this. And statements are like this, but I can do something different with an and statement. Are we okay up to here? Here's another type of and statement. It just looks a little bit different. Negative 8 less than or equal to negative 5x minus 3 less than or equal to negative 7. This is an and statement. It is an and statement that be, can be written like this. Negative 18 less than or equal to negative 5x minus 3. And it's also written like this. Negative 5x minus 3 less than or equal to negative 7. What are you noticing? It's going to both. It's just switched around. Instead of writing it twice, it's combined together, this compound statement. I'm going to show you this way I'm breaking it apart. I do both problems. I subtract 3, and I get negative 15 less than or equal to negative 5x. Then I, I added 3, and I got negative 15x. Now I divide by negative 5, 3 greater than or equal to x. The reason why I flipped the symbol, I divided by a negative, so that changes. Over here, I'm going to add 3. Negative 5x less than or equal to negative 4. Divide by negative 5. x is greater than or equal to 4 fifths. On a number line, which one's smaller? 4 fifths or 3? 4 fifths. The larger one is 3. They're both closed. And just to see, this is going this way. If I rewrite it, x. It don't matter where you stop at. They're going to connect. They're going to connect. That's one way you can do it. Now, your answer for and statements. What's your small one? Four fifths. Four fifths less than or equal to x, less than or equal to three. Instead of writing this and this, you can just write this answer. And it's always going to be less than, less than. Small number, big number. I'm going to show you the fast way to do these problems. I'm going to do the same exact problem a different way. Uh -uh. Now I'm going to look at this. Add 3. Add 3. Add 3. I added 3 to the left. I added 3 to the right. So I have negative 15 less than or equal to negative 5x less than or equal to negative 4. Now I'm going to divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. 3 less than or equal to, or sorry, because I divided by negative, greater than or equal to x, greater than or equal to 4 fifths. But I want less than, less than, so I just take the entire problem and flip it. It's the same exact thing. Yeah, this way is the way I do them. Instead of breaking into two separate problems. Any questions? 